before I get into this tutorial, let's talk a little bit about the LM358. The LM358 op amp is an operational amplifier. It takes two input voltages and spits out another voltage at its output or pin one. Then it takes ground power from pin four and positive power from pin eight. The pinout is above or below, somewhere on the screen. They are represented by triangles in the circuit diagram. This right here is pin 3, the positive, and this is pin 2, the negative, or the inverting and non-inverting. Then pin 8 goes to that, and you see just the diagram is just like this, and right here is the output. It looks like one of the voltage gates because it takes two inputs and spits out an output like them. The step is to connect the non-inverting input, or pin 3, to the positive rail, or we're going to connect that to pin 8, which I'm going to do because it's an easier shortcut. Our next step, according to the circuit diagram, is connecting two 4.7 kilo ohm resistors to form a voltage divider at the inverting input. This voltage divider helps the comparators inside the LM358 op amp determine whether there's light coming or not. So what I mean is that this right here, these little chips have comparators in them and they tell a difference between two the inputs, the inverting and the non-inverting. So then this will help it get a better reading on the LDR. So we take a 4.7 kilo ohm resistor and we place one of them between pin two and pin four and pin two and pin eight. So one will go to the positive rail and one will go to the negative. So pin two is right here and we can just put this to the positive rail or negative rail because it doesn't really matter. And we can do the same thing, but we'll connect it to pin, see here, I placed pin two to pin eight. So that's connected to the positive rail. Now our voltage divider right here with the 4.7 kilo ohm resistors is complete. A voltage divider takes positive voltage and negative voltage, as you can see right here, through this little loop right here. And it gives off a large voltage at its node right here, which the node travels right here into the inverting input. The output of our LM358 op amp is pin one. So we take an LED, and place its anode or its positive to that output. So the output can get fed into this LED. And then we take a resistor. Um, I'm using 150 ohms. You should be using a higher um, amount of resistance for nine volts of battery because you can use um, any amount from about three volts to around like 30 volts. So I'm using a nine volt battery, but I recommend you use a 470 ohm resistor like over here. So you take that and you place it on the negative rail like this. And again, this is a 150 ohm resistor, but I recommend you use a 470. So now our circuit is all complete. So how the circuit works is the LM358 op amp receives two inputs. One is where the 10 kilo ohm resistor is in the LDR at the non-inverting input. And on the inverting input, we have the voltage divider between the 4.7 kilo ohm resistors. So it takes those two inputs and finds the difference between these two voltages. Then when it finds a difference, the amount of light basically changes the voltage or resistance. Because basically, if you have a higher resistance, then the voltage will change. So then it will compare that and give a certain output depending on the, how much you light you give on that. For example, right here, there's barely any light on it. So then it won't give out as high of a voltage output. But now there's so much light on it. So then it'll give a pretty high, it'll give a pretty low actually voltage output and it'll give a high when it senses this right here. So this is basically just a dark sensor and it's just the concept is finding the difference between the two voltages coming from the voltage divider and the LDR and giving an output voltage right over here. The exact circuit we made earlier, and right here is the battery. So we connect its perspective rails with its negative to the negative and its positive to the positive. 
So right here, there's barely any light falling on the LDR. So then the LDR is giving tons and tons of resistance. This op amp is giving a lot of resistance to this LED and it's turning off. Now when I go like this and cover all the light on it, then slowly the LED glows. Now when it gets a little bit of light, and it's a little bit like that, it's dim. And as soon as I go like that, it turns um, very light. And you can see because the resistance is changing. Think about it, if I were to use a one mega ohm resistor instead of this 150 ohm resistor, do you think the LED would turn on brightly? No, it would not. That's because there's a lot of resistance falling on it. But right here, it's changing the amount of resistance. Now switch to nighttime so we can see the scene better. So as you can see right there, when I go like that, then the light is blocked, so this turns on. Now let's turn off the room light. So it acts as a night light in this situation. 